So there's a funny story behind uh, today's interview. You know, I've been doing these all week, and uh, obviously we're up to Wednesday. I'm still on vacation, and pre-taped a bunch of these interviews. Did them all last week, so we could roll them out this week, so you'd still have some morning pit content. And the way, I mean, we did them over Zoom. Obviously, you can probably recognize it. It's a Zoom recording. It's the easiest way to record video or video conversation, and then you know, pretty easy to to edit it and put it together into one of these videos for the morning pit. And so, obviously, you know, Monday we we uh, released the interview with Damian Dunn. Yesterday, we had the interview with Cam Corrin. And today, I mean, you already see the headline. I don't have to pretend like you don't know who it is. It's Amsal Del- Delilich. Ah, I'm really trying hard to get his name right. I, I had the extended conversation with him about this. It's Amsal Delilich. All right. Um, although he said he doesn't care. You can call him Amsal Delilich. It, it, it's, it's fine. But it's Amsal Delilich. So... We're setting up these, these, and and actually one day last week, I knocked out a bunch of these interviews all in like the same day. Like boom, boom, boom. It was actually done, Corn Delilich. And then tomorrow's interview, I did actually a, a day uh, on a different day. Um, so we get to Delilich, and it's the final interview of the day, right? I've already talked to Don. I've already talked to Corn, and I'm, I'm talking to uh, Amsal. And so I'm, you know, I've got the Zoom fired up. I'm waiting for him to, waiting for him to come in the room. And he, and he walks around the corner. And, and he sits down and he says, I already know you. I watched your video when I committed to Pitt talking about how you weren't going to overreact about, <laughs> about me. I just laughed. In case you forgot, okay, we're totally not going to overreact to Pitt signing a 6'7 Bosnian wing who can shoot. We are totally not going to overreact to Pitt signing a 6'7 Bosnian wing who can shoot. We are not going to overreact to Pitt signing a 6'7 Bosnian wing who can shoot. We're totally going to overreact to Pitt signing a 6'7 Bosnian wing who can shoot, can't, aren't we? Yeah, that was like May. May, I think it was May 20th was the day. The morning Pitt, right after Amsal Delilich committed, um, just kept saying, we weren't going to overreact, we weren't going to overreact, which he... Unbeknownst to him, it was a callback to uh, you know after the exhibition game or after the first game of the season last year. We we're like, we're not going to overreact to a win over whoever they played, North Carolina A and T or something. We're not going to overreact to this, and it's always sort of a callback to that. He wasn't aware of it, but he said like he watched that video. His whole family watched that video, and I I just laughed because I was like, dude, I butchered your name in that thing. I I, I butchered your name in that interview or in that video and i'm sorry you know i mean like i said aside all the, the lack of basketball iq and no idea what i'm talking about from an you know analytical standpoint i just got your name completely wrong so i apologize for that so he he just laughed about it he he, did, he thought it was funny we had a good chuckle um but that's today's interview subject i'm Saul delilich from bosnia six seven bosnian wing he's 21 years old he's joining pitt uh, this year as a freshman coming in as a recruit and we got a chance to talk with him uh, I was excited for this conversation I was looking forward to this Jim interviewed uh, Amsal when he committed to Pip so I didn't actually I hadn't gotten a chance to speak with him yet so I was really looking forward to this opportunity and and uh, I, I think it loved it loved it lived up to it it was a lot of fun talking to Amsal Delilich and I did it again just like yesterday I forgot the music I swear for tomorrow's episode, I'm not going to forget the music. <laughs> for tomorrow's episode, we will make sure we, we cue the music in there. But, all right, uh, look, obviously there's a thousand and one questions to ask Amsal Delilich, right? Uh, you know, a thousand and two. And we tried to ask as many as we could uh, during our conversation. He was great to talk to. It was a lot of fun talking about, I mean, just basically how he ended up at Pitt, right? I mean, that's the biggest question. Like, how did you get here? So we started there. Just kind of went into a lot of different directions, had a lot of different uh, topics to cover, and I think we had a pretty interesting conversation. So check it out. Here's my conversation with Amsal Delilich. Uh, Amsal, did I get that right? I'm trying to get it right. Yeah. Is that the right? <laughs> yeah. That's the best. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Well, yeah. anyway, we really appreciate you uh, hanging out today. It's uh, it's it's really looking forward to catching up with you. Obviously, it's uh, an interesting story of how you ended up in, in Pittsburgh, but I kind of want to go – like to, to the beginning, like how, how did you, you know, 
have you been playing basketball your whole life? I mean, where, where was the really sort of the beginning of this story of your basketball career? Well, it's been a very like when I was born, literally, my, my dad was a professional basketball player. So like since I was little, I was always with the ball, always going to his games with my mom. And it was always around that I, I, uh, I practiced football, let's say soccer, as you guys call it, soccer. Uh, I practiced it for like three, four months, and I, I, it didn't interest me as much as, as basketball did. So, it, it, it's it basically when I was like two, um, two years old, I started with the basketball. Then in 2009, when he finished his career, he made his own club, and and from 2009, it all started for me. The practices from when I was five, six till now, where I am. So, that that that's basically my my. Uh, my story for for now were you always a, a bigger kid did you hit a growth spurt at some point or were you always pretty tall well i mean i was when i was younger let me say like nine ten i was like not 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 so not so big and then one summer i got bigger maybe like grew three and a half four inches and and after that summer i know when i came back to school i was like <laughs> higher than everyone by like their head well, one head so like <laughs> It was it was something that that uh, that really surprised me, and also like my parents also told me that that I I was higher and all that, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Is was there a point where you remember either it clicked for you or it clicked for your dad? Like, hey, th there might be something here. This is you know maybe a little bit more than just being able to play on the playground. You you might have some talent that could could really kind of build something out of. Well, yeah, I mean he the the base point of him getting the the basketball club to run it up it was it was to in one way uh help me understand what he went through and also that that he he saw way before i even knew i mean that i'm going to become this what i am and it's still a lot more improvement for me but 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 the thing is that that he really knew and really i mean both of my parents even my mom so they were always a big support and always wanted the best out of me and they seen that i had the talent and everything it just had to go like it had to go step by step it wasn't like gonna i, mean, I wasn't even gonna jump over obstacles to, to to get where i'm supposed to do it was where i'm supposed to get so uh it was just like a big journey for me going with ups and downs not believing in myself and then believing i mean everyone goes through those phases and I mean, at the end, it was just most important for me that that I had my parents who always had my back and who always supported me. And, and always, like, if I fell a little bit off the track, they were always, like, there to get me back on it. So, like, I, I'm just unbelievably thankful for them for that. For sure, for sure. What kind of player was your dad? Like, was he same kind of position, same sort of skill set as you, or was he a different type of guy? Different well, he had some. He's, he was a he was a center. He okay. he did. He he was a center, but he was he had like a guard body in him. He he liked to pass. He he liked to do fundamental stuff. He loved he loved to really like use his pump fakes. And I mean, that's what he's mostly teaching me every summer before the season starts. When we do individual work, he mostly gets me on low post stuff and works with me on that and 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 even though i didn't show showcase my my uh my low post game yet but it's gonna get there eventually when, when my body gets ready for it so i mean it's, it's just big ups for him for for always like supporting me and then always like telling me stuff what to do and what to look out for because he he has played with a lot of good people a lot of good players and he's just trying to get those things that the he he learned to pass on to me. Uh, you talk about, you know, getting your body to, to where it needs to be. Do you, you need to add weight? Do you, you feel like that's kind of a big thing for you right now is just sort of. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure is to add weight. I mean, if you want to play college basketball, it's way different than it is back in Europe. I mean, there are a lot of players in Europe that have awful bodies, but, but they, they can hoop. But still, uh, it's it's it, for me is it's it's not to have a, a bad body. It's just it's to be fully into it. I'm fully devoted to it. I love to work. I love to to be better. I know that I, I need to get on weight, and that's that's something that that every every player that that does look skinnier and that that does does look like a little bit. Uh, weaker than everyone else that should do. But I know that's gonna translate because every time. I come and work. I know I know what I want and that's that's basically it.
Right. You, um, you know, we, we talk about positions and there's a lot of overlap in positions. What's a guard, what's a wing, you know, I feel like everybody, sometimes it looks like everybody on Pitt's floor is a wing. You know what I mean? It's just kind of where they're playing. What do you, how do you see yourself? Not necessarily a pit, but just in general, if somebody said, Hey, what position do you play in basketball? What, what do you say? Well, I'm going to say combo guard because even though I'm way taller than a lot of combo guards, guards, but I mean, I can fill out one through four easily, um, can switch on anything, can, can pass, can throw lobs and can, can really read the game. Well, also cuts everything. I mean, that that's what 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 basically my dad implanted in me from day one when when I started and when I really wanted to do this when I was 16 17 when we had that talk and he t- told me do you want to really do this I was like yes so he he wanted me to have everything to to bring out to the table and and it's it's it just the right now is just recognizing what position I'm going to be at I'm always going to be a guard I'm always going to be someone who plays outside but I mean, who knows what, what tactics, tactics we're going to have against teams. I mean, we have Duke, North Carolina, NC State, a lot of a lot of good colleges. So, I mean, I don't know what's what's going to be the 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 team point of view for, for those games. But I, I think we're going to think we're going to have a really, really, really good season, if anything. So uh, take me back to when you first. I, I don't know. It, what was the process of getting attention from colleges? I mean, I want to ask you about when Pitt first got in touch, but just what's the process of where you were getting the attention from the colleges, getting in contact with the colleges, with American colleges, and, and how does that process kind of go? Well, it was basically out of nowhere for me because back back in Bosnia, um, I started a season off and – two guys that, that are from Serbia, they actually contacted me and then they said, are you interested in it? Because when I was 15, 16, I was very interested and in, was watching NCAA basketball and college basketball in general and was really like intrigued by how, how players play and like how it's, it is faster. It's like more, you have more space. You have to adapt a little bit quicker to it. So, but I mean, um, it's been it's been a long process like from last november let's say november september that's when it all started and i was like no nobody actually knew that that this was going to be an option and i know a lot of people are surprised that i'm here uh but it it was a it was a long 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 process and i mean we we talked to a lot of schools a lot of let's say zoom calls from other schools that, that we had and, and a lot of other interests, but the mostly were these three Pittsburgh where I'm at right now, Creighton and VCU. So those are like the main three visits that I visited and that really wanted, wanted me for me. And it was just my choice to make where I'm going to go. You, you said you had, you were watching like NCAA basketball was, was Pitt a school you were aware of? Were they on your radar at all? Like, were you, did you know anything about them before you got the call from the first time? Well, I, I didn't know a lot, but I have heard that they were a good school. They were a division one school in the ACC. And I looked, I mean, when I was following it, I wasn't that much like into a lot of teams I've, I've mostly like followed like high, higher level teams, Kentucky, Duke, I don't know, Arkansas, all, all those top tier teams and mostly watch March Madness because that's what intrigued me the most. Like the atmosphere, how how schools play, when when March Madness comes by, how they play, how they do all, all the stuff that they need to do to win. And it's just it, it, it was a. Uh, I don't even know. I'm, I'm a little bit. Hmm. I forgot a little bit about a question. So no, no, it's, no, it's, back. Yeah, yeah. no, I was just kind of curious, you know, ab- about like your awareness of Pitt. So, I mean, they first reach out to you. Are you like Pittsburgh? Where's, where's Pitt? What do you do? You go find a map or you look up their basketball? Well, program? no, I knew, I knew, I knew where Pittsburgh was at. I mean, you got to know them by Pittsburgh Steelers. So <laughs> that, that, that's one thing that, that, I mean, I know a lot of, a lot of American culture than, than most people I think general in Europe, because I follow not not a lot of it, but I'm 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 in intact with a lot of stuff that happened here that that goes by basketball. So like I mean, 
when they said Pittsburgh, I mean, I was like, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers. And they were like, yeah, I mean, that's good, good assumption on it. So, <laughs> and after that, I mean, when I looked it up and all that, and then when I looked up a few games, how they played last year against Duke, against NC State. I mean, even here when they, when they played against Florida State, it was also a good game, even though they, they, uh, they played hard and all that. But I mean, it was, it was just intriguing for me, like, how, how th their mentality, like they're tough, their toughness. Mm -hmm. That's something that I want to always prove myself that I'm worthy of the position where I'm in at. That's how I've been taught Bosnia because in Europe, you always play and you always have to show up. And, and when games start, I mean, ev everything is, is, is more important. I mean, the game is more important than everything else. So that's, that's like, you got to get your team on. And when the playoffs all start, it's like way different. Mm -hmm. It's like physical, always like that. So, I mean, a lot of stuff uh, are, are, were on my mind when I came here because I'm going to go far away from, from home. But, I mean, I was used to it because for the past two and a half years while I was playing pro, I didn't have no problems being alone. So I had all my apartments had to pay the bills, had to do all, all that stuff, get food. So this is like something that – you don't get in, in Boston. You don't get much opportunity than this. Right, right. So the first time you come and visit Pittsburgh, not just Pitt, the school, but the, the city. What, what were some of your impressions of, of this area and this city? I mean, it looked, for me, as I said, uh, it looked a little bit like Belgrade, even though sometimes I mm. I go by Belgrade. I go, go to Serbia, depending when. But it, it really reminded me of the roads, of Belgrade and like how 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 the buildings are made and it kind of I, as I said it, it felt like home it was just something that I mean I I can can describe it in words it just it just clicked and also like going through with the guys while while I was on the visit meeting up with them they were all like talking to me always like asking what's up over there and all that. And also with the coaches, it was just the, that player and coach connection that, that really, I just couldn't, couldn't resist to come here. Hmm. That's basically it. I, I asked you kind of what position you see yourself in or, you know, what position do you say you play? What, what did the coaches kind of sell you on? What did they tell you they needed from you or what position they needed you to play here? I mean, the basic thing was that 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 I mean, coach said that we that they needed shooting because Bob went to the draft and that they want someone to fill in. And I mean, I fit that role perfectly. I think with with everything that I can do on court, I know that that a lot of coaches like love to love to talk about players that they can do one or two things in their in their uh, arsenal, but I can do multiple. I can switch i can rebound i can go offensive rebound defend steal play defense play multiple positions which most most players can do and that's something that that is really valuable in in basketball in general mm -hmm. so as you guys have been practicing and and as you've been working with the other guys who, who's been giving you a really good challenge you know what i mean either on defense or offense who, who's who's the guy that you've been matched up with against uh, matched up with a lot and is really kind of you know pushing you you know what i mean and, and really challenging you i mean mostly all off like these past two weeks when we started i mean everyone is pushing each other to be better i mean i know that that a lot of i'm gonna say damien and ish are probably like the, the two most aggressive ones that we have and and just the the dog in them i mean damien is a great defender i've also watched it a lot of some of his games actually, and, and the way that he defends. I mean, he, he was in Houston, he was in the number one ranked team. And, and to have that experience from him to, to lay, lay on us, it's, it's a very big thing. And I mean, everyone's gonna get better. I know that for sure. Everyone, everyone is gonna get their defense up 30, 40%. I'm sure of it because we are all pushing each other to be great. And that, that's what Pittsburgh is all about, toughness and, and just to keep on pushing forward. All right. The last thing I wanted to ask you, um, I mean, we always ask guys who come in from out of town about food and, and what they think of the food in Pittsburgh. You're obviously from very far out of town. So what's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how's the, how's, how's, how have you found the, the food in, in Pittsburgh? What do you think of it? 
I mean, it's good. It's it's. I mean, in general, in U.S., it's bigger portions. I can <laughs> I, I can I can I can say that, but but uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of of like chili food, you know, like like spicy food. So mm-hmm. they they sometimes like to spice it up here. But I mean, the food, I, I can't get mad at it. It's 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 bigger portion. It's 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 better. I mean, for me, and I really enjoy it it's nothing it's nothing that i don't like so it's it's basically just not not loving the 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 spiciness of food that's that's basically it okay okay got it all right then before i let you go just so everybody can hear it from you say say your name so we can all like record it we can master it so when you you know the game start we know what uh what name we're saying my first and last name do it yep both yep i'm sal belovich there it is. Okay. We heard it from the, the source now, right? I mean, now we, we, we've got it from the source and we know what to say. All right. Thanks so yeah. much. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome to Pittsburgh. Hopefully it's been in good so far and we will uh, catch up with you again this fall. All right. Thank you very much for sure. See you soon. <laughs> I had to ask him at the end there. I had to, had to, had to do it again. Tell me the pronunciation. I, I still don't know if I'm getting it right. I still don't think I'm getting it right. Can we just call him AD or something like that? You know, Amdel. No, that's too close to Amsel which we were messing up on. Yeah, we'll figure something out. But Amsal Delalich, uh, you know, we try. I'm trying. I'm trying to get his name right. But either way, regardless of uh, my poor pronunciation, I uh, hope you enjoyed that interview. I know I enjoyed doing that interview. I thought it was great to talk to him. It was a lot of fun having that conversation with him. And um, I hope you enjoyed that as well. I think he had a good time. I know I had a good time. And I, I think it was pretty interesting and informative talking to uh, Amsel Delalich, who's going to be a big part of Pitt's team this year. Listen, if you like that interview, you like all these interviews, like the videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash to get all of your Pitt sports coverage. And then check out, or Pitt video coverage, I should say, and then check out the website, panther-lair.com, pittsburgh.rivals.com for all of the Pitt sports coverage you can possibly handle. We got another interview coming for you tomorrow. It's not a newcomer on the basketball team. Uh, but it is related to pit hoops, and it's somebody I think you'll enjoy hearing from. Pretty good conversation. Another good conversation. I, I enjoyed it at least. I think you'll enjoy it as well. Hopefully as much as you enjoyed these interviews with Dunn and Corin and Delalich. Uh, but thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch up with you tomorrow with another conversation on the Morning Pit right here, youtube.com slash panthalaircom.